In this video, I'm going to give you a brief look at how Tab Room behaves while you are in the middle of hosting a tournament that you're hosting virtually. So I'm here on my tournament's home screen. If you don't remember how to get there, you click on your profile, and then the tournament that you're running will be down the right side. Now I've already paired round one and it's going. If I go to my schematic, what I can see in this view on the right side is the time each of these judges clicked the start round button on their online ballot. And I can see that four of my judges have not clicked that button yet, which might indicate an issue that I may need to have some attention to. Later on in this process, once a judge has made a decision, this time will change to an A or an N for affirmative or negative. And I can see the same thing in my open division, which is also currently running. Similarly, you can again see what time each of these judges started their online ballot. If you've set up any utility rooms, you can access those rooms from any of your schematics. It seems to be common practice that the tournament director tries to hang out in the coach lounge and resolve any issues with head coaches that way. If you also have a judge lounge or any other utility rooms, they'll show here. You'll also notice that on the schematic, I have a direct link to each room. I'm not going to jump in because that would disrupt a round that's currently happening. However, this link would allow me to go into a room, see how everything was going. You could stay on mute if you want to just go and look, or you can go in and help resolve a problem right there. One other screen that I think is really helpful is under the tabbing tab under status. There's a couple of different components here. First, you can see the tournament dashboard that if you've hosted on Tab Room before, you might be familiar with. This tells me in the current round that's happening how many rounds have not started yet, at least according to a judge clicking the green button, and how many rounds have not had yet had their decision entered. Similarly, in open. Now, you're not seeing anything in JV because my JV division is starting tomorrow morning and I'm recording this on a Friday afternoon. But what I think is really powerful here is this campus rooms button where I can see everything in a division. The green check mark indicates that that person who is supposed to be in this round is currently logged in to that NSDA campus room. Now, sometimes you'll see a red dot that is not necessarily a problem because, of course, we know some teams might share a single connected device. So unless I hear from folks in open room two, I'm going to presume that things are going fine and that the negative team is just sharing one computer. If you want to see a different division, you just click on the drop down and choose that other division. And you can see everyone is logged in in my DCI division currently. So those are, and you'll also notice here, I have links to get into the rooms from this side as well. If you give your students tournament access to just the very, very minimal level, they will have access to this screen where they can see who's in the rooms and they can also jump in the rooms and help you be that first layer of problem solving if you like. You do not need to give them any advanced tab access so you don't need to be too worried about some of those kids who, if you gave them too many buttons, they might break your tournament.